Hi, this is Miss Torres, and I'm going to read you a story called Timimoto. This is a tale that comes from Japan. Many years ago, in a small village in Japan, an old woman and her husband were talking about their life's wishes. I have only one wish, said the woman. I am sad that we never had children. I wish that we could have a child, even if he were no bigger than my finger. The old man nodded his head and sighed. <sighs> Later that day, the woman took her bucket to go fetch some water. She was walking along when she heard a cry coming from the ground next to the path. She looked down and saw a tiny baby, only one inch long, wrapped in a piece of red cloth. Oh, my wish has come true, cried the woman. She picked up the baby and cradled him in her arms. Filled with joy, she brought the baby home to her husband. They named him Timimoto. Timimoto grew up, but he never grew very tall. When he was 15 years old, he only stood as high as his mother's middle finger. On the day of his 15th birthday, Timimoto decided that he wanted to see the world. I am going on a journey, he announced. We understand, son, said the old man. We, too, wanted to explore the world when we were younger. Let us give you some tools for your journey. The old woman fetched a sewing needle, slid it into a piece of straw, and tied it to Timimoto's belt. You will need a sword to protect yourself, she said. The old man went to the kitchen. He returned with a rice bowl and a chopstick. And you will need a boat and a paddle, he said to Timimoto. You can get it for if you travel on the river. Thank you, said Timimoto. These tools will help me as I explore new places. Timimoto said goodbye to his parents. Be safe, they said to him. Watch out for the night giant who lives down the river. Timimoto hopped in his boat and paddled away. Timimoto set out on his adventure to discover the world. As he was paddling along, he felt something sticky tap his shoulder. He turned and saw a huge frog on a rock behind his boat. The frog was trying to catch him with its tongue. Wait, thought Timimoto. I have the perfect tool for this. He raised his chopstick high in the air and whacked the frog on the nose. The frog dived into the water and swam away. Later, Timimoto arrived at a small village. He saw a crowd of people running toward their houses. He got out of his boat and walked into the village. He spoke to a man who was pushing a cart of vegetables. Excuse me, sir. Why is everybody running? He asked. The man looked down and said, You must be new in town, young man. Hasn't anybody told you about the giant who comes out at sunset? Suddenly, Timimoto remembered what his parents had told him. This must be where the night giant lives, he thought. Timimoto thanked the man and raced back to his boat. Timimoto ran towards the dock, but it was too late. The sun had already set behind a hill. What would happen next? Suddenly, the ground started to rumble and shake. The night giant appeared behind poor Timimoto. I am hungry for a big dinner, the giant roared. You are very small but you'll do for my first bite. The giant scooped up Timimoto and popped him in his mouth. Inside the giant's mouth, Timimoto knew just what to do. Mother gave me this sword for a reason, he thought. Timimoto lifted the sword high above his head and brought it down on the giant's tongue. The giant let out a terrible scream. Timimoto leaped out of the giant's mouth and landed safely on the ground. That hurt, the giant cried. I will never return to this village again. He whined as he ran back into the forest. One by one, the townspeople came out of their houses and surrounded Timimoto. You have defeated the night giant, they cheered. Thank you, friend. Timimoto bowed his head, then got into his boat and paddled toward home. The End Now you are going to practice your reading comprehension skills by retelling the story using the pictures. 
Feel free to pause the video to answer the questions and then press play when you are ready to move on to the next one. Card one. What is the woman holding? Why is she smiling? Card two. Where is Timimoto going? What tools does he take with him? Card three. What time of day is it? Who is Timimoto talking to? Card four. How does the giant feel? Why does Timimoto hold a needle? Thanks for watching The Tale of Timimoto.